Hey guys, Jordan Roach with uh, WTA Tags. Eric Pollock just got done talking to you guys about elk, sheep, antelope, deer um, in New Mexico. I'm gonna expand on, on the others here a little bit. So um, New Mexico is the only state in the West that uh, you can chase uh, free range exotics. So on the exotics, we have the Oryx, the Ibex, and the Barbary sheep. I'm gonna dive into each one a little bit more. So first off, I wanna dive into the Oryx a little bit. Um, so those hunts are conducted on the White Sands Missile Range. So for 2023, you'll have two areas to choose from. You'll have the, the Rhodes Canyon Range uh, as well as the Stallion Range. Between those two ranges, um, historically, they've seen about 90% success. It's a once in a lifetime tag. Um, reason for that being um, you have higher populations on the range and uh, bigger bulls. But with that, there's a caveat, um, comes with lower draw odds, right? Even though there's lower draw odds, definitely um, you should still consider it for, for your first choice this year. So we talked about the, the once in a lifetime tag on, on range. Now we can kind of dive into um, your off range or, or the McGregor range. So the McGregor range, it's still on range, but it's not considered a once in a lifetime tag. Um, it's a two day hunt. You have lower population, so success rate isn't gonna be as good as the other two ranges. If you're, if you're looking to draw a tag this year, definitely a, a worthy consideration. You know, next we can get into the off range. Um, we've had a lot of success over the last three or four years, nearly 100% off range. And you can basically choose, choose your month from June all the way through March on that hunt. So it gives you a little bit more flexibility, higher draw odds on that. So uh, if you're looking to draw an Oryx tag, take all those into consideration this year and um, we'll, we'll definitely be able to help you out. So the next species I wanna to talk to you about is the Persian Ibex. These hunts are conducted down in Unit 25 in the Florida Mountains, some of the most rugged terrain in all of New Mexico. So naturally you can expect a physical hunt um, as well as a mental test. You know, on the rifle hunt, you have very difficult draw odds, um, but once in a lifetime, but um, if you can draw it, I mean, you, very unique experience. You know, if you want to increase your draw odds, um, substantially and you're good with open sights. Now that was a big change this year. It definitely put in for the, the muzzleloader, second choice. And then if you're up for the challenge, they have archery tags as well, which come along with uh, the easiest draw odds. So last but not least, we have the Barberry Sheep. Um, they're located in just about everywhere in the state other than the Northeast corner. Um, there's three probably major areas you wanna apply for. If you're wanting to put in for one of those this year, it's a little bit easier draw odds compared to the other two. Give us a call today and we'll definitely be able to help you out with that. One more thing, um, all of these species do have youth season. So if you have a youth under 18, um, remember they apply for free with WTA tags. So if you guys wanna add one of these species to your portfolio this year, give WTA tags a call. The most wide open spot people. you can see all the way across. You see this mesquite tree right Yeah. Here?